back to the Weekly Dose of Chaos, episode 19, section 1. Well, today we're going to do something different today and see if it works. We're going to try to freestyle it and just go with the flow. Um, but before we start off our podcast today, we're going to be saying rest in peace to another person who's died this week. Uh, Keith Levine uh, dies at the age of 65, the co-founder of the band The Clash. And also um, the, the also the guy from the store had died and the one that played Batman in the anime that that passed away too. It's been a wild couple of weeks for the uh, deaths of a lot of famous people. Oh. Um, Keith Levine ended up dying of liver cancer, but he lived from 1957 up to 2022. Yeah. So uh, at least he is in the rock. Uh, hall. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so he'll be remembered as one of the greatest punk bands and uh, one of the people that actually started the movement to create the music of punk oh, yeah. um, and pushed it in that direction. So uh, rest in peace to him. And uh, anyways, starting off tonight, how about we start talking about some other games that everybody's excited to see come out this upcoming year? Uh, definitely the John Wick. I'm, I'm excited to be playing yeah. his character and shit. Interesting to play him. <clears throat> yeah, like uh, out of all the games that we probably like listed and reviewed so far in our good uh, 18 episode span so far, honestly, the one I was most excited to hear about um, was them actually making that new Need for Speed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then it's going to be actually kind of ba- like the basis of how Underground was laid out and everything. So it's kind of be interesting. Plus, ASAP Rocky's going to be in it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But like Dragon Flight's coming out soon. There's so, many, there's so much good shit coming out within the next year. But honestly, the game I'm most hyped for is Diablo 4. Yeah. Like, that's, that's what I'm hyped to see. The trailer was amazing. The gameplay content that I looked at on YouTube was phenomenal. Like, it's going to be an amazing game as it gets released. Can't wait for that. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, what about you? What are you most excited to see get released this year? Movie-wise? Game-wise? Oh, one I think is out the Gotham Knights. Um, basically, like, you play with uh, Robin, but like, in Nightwing... Um, the cap or Batwoman, and then Batman's in there, but you don't really play as him. You play as like the other characters. But um, I want to get that game. Oh, the, and I was gonna get as well. But um, this other one, the uh, Chainsaw Massacre, coming out next year. Um, basically just like Friday the Thirteenth, so the you can actually play as him too. So that'd be interesting to just run around and <laughs> change song. Yes, yeah, so I'm um, fucking <laughs> <laughs> throw away. Throw the whole change. <laughs> <laughs> right. If they could pull this off, they should be one of the good horror, horror movie person. If All right, then anyway, I saw off. the Gears of War series there. Actually, and we were just talking about that. And now and then it popped up saying about Gears of War series for Netflix. They were mm-hmm. talking about Batista playing that Marcus, but... Yeah. What other video games do you think would be, like, great TV shows, though, right now? Like, in my opinion, I feel like they should make a fucking TV show out of Borderlands. That'd be badass. That'd be fucking sick. Yeah. That'd be fucking crazy. Yeah. HBO Max. <laughs> That's just gonna adopt the project right there, and yeah. they're like, yup, yeah, on it. <laughs> yeah, maybe he'd pay. They'd probably do a really good job at it too, though. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. No. No lie. HBO Max it looks like they are gonna do an amazing job with The Last of Us, and they're probably but if they did something with Borderlands, it'd be badass. Yeah. I wonder if they try to make it and more animated or like more like life. Yeah. I hope they do it more realistic. That'd be cool as fuck. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm picturing it as like a realistic movie, not some animated movie. Anymore. Yeah. That'd be badass though. I want to see a second Warcraft movie too. Yeah, we're all looking forward to that, but they never gonna. I don't think they're never gonna do it. All right, I'm messaging Blizzard right now. Yeah, they need to do a movie. Yeah. You guys do the movie right yeah, now. If you need one, you gotta do the rest of them. I'll act in it. I'll be like the homeless guy. <laughs> 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 all 
It's obviously be that guy that's sitting there. I'm in the game. I'll get my ass beat by a bunch of guards. It's cool. You just get, you get paid like five grand just for that. I'm cool with that. Some of these movie theaters are just movie people are generous like that. It's really crazy how Hollywood works with that. I'll bite the dude's leg and everything. So they tell you do anything, you'll do anything. No, I'm not giving them no blow job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're not going yeah. that boundary for jobs. I'm not I'm not that desperate yet. <laughs> yet? <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. You never know where your life's gonna end up. Only fans. It's a no more in person Be- present. Well, that pretty much is. Only fans, but it's only pictures of my calf. <laughs> We're going back to the 80s. Yep. I'll pop that shit Calves and thighs. Calves and thighs. Because he loves them hairy thighs. Hell yeah. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Hairy thighs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking, for, looking, looking forward to them. Uh, so you know Star Wars, the other Star Wars game that came out, the the new the new one that came out. Battlefield Jedi. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it's like an Overwatch arena sort of thing, yeah, but the, like I, with Jedi yeah. and bounty hunters and shit. Yeah, and but they have another one from the other one, like, the uh, game right that new the other new game that came out uh something. It's it was Star Wars, uh, with with, with Cal, the guy. Well, he played yeah, Fallen Order. Yeah, Fallen um, Order, and they have they have an they have a sequel to that. They have yeah. a sequel coming out called Survivor, Survivor Jedi Survivor. Well, at least sometime in. They need to stop fucking playing and give me the Force Unleashed Part Three. Yeah. All right. Don't wait for that. <laughs> it's overdue. Yeah. Just, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but low key, that game is actually pretty sick. I played it and finished it. It took me a long time, and I actually like went through it and like collected everything. I was yeah. actually on like the interest of getting everything unlocked in that fucking game. Yeah. Yeah, because I was just like, you know what, I'm not gonna fuck. I, I fucked around. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I went over there, you know, pushed a couple enemies and shit like that. Yeah. Fucked with a couple animals, but it was. I mean, I waited so long. I was like, I think it was like, the first one came out like two years ago almost, right? Already? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just, I was like 20 then. I was just like, damn, I'm going to be like 23 when, I, when this bitch comes out. <laughs> and I'm still going to get it because it's fucking cool. Like, yeah. I don't know, I fuck with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want to see Cal versus Starkiller. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Starkiller is going to fucking murder him though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no way. The man picks up AT ATs no, like even, even, even everyone in the Star Wars community knows like uh, if that was if that was canon, he's the strong who's the strongest of all the guys or, or that that the, Yeah, he is like the most powerful being to ever live. Like in any kind of This was before of Luke. This was after Anakin when he went to the Vader. Yeah, that Luke and Leia were still growing up at, at that time yep. when this was all happening. Yeah, and then the, the backstory and the lore of it is he was the one who started the rebellion. Yeah. And, like, I feel like that should be canon because it would be such a great way to fucking introduce yeah, it. Yeah, like I said, all the other, making up other movies about these other people that no one knows about these people. Like, why the don't fucking you... guy literally blew a hole in the first Death Star because of how powerful he was yeah. just using the Force. It's, it's, it's yeah. just, it's like, just, how yeah. fucking powerful do you have to be to do something like that? Mm-hmm. Because not even Vader is that fucking powerful. No, and then supposedly the Vader is as strong as a Sith at, at the time. It's like, what about Starkiller? He, he, was a, he, was a, he was a Sith Lord apprentice, but he also was a Jedi Master. Too. Yeah, that's why... He seen the pretty much the Jedi for what he could use really both going. sides of it. Yes, he was a what they call a gray Jedi. Yeah, yeah. neither good nor bad. It can but can draw from both aspects of the Force. Yeah, they shock him. He just sits there like really. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking flamethrower ones were the worst. Those were those were what they actually get me though. The dudes with the fucking jetpacks and the flamethrowers. Yeah, oh, yeah. they learn how to jetpacks to fly. It's like 
Really it's funny as hell when you can fucking actually throw shit on them and they like hit the wall <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like fall. They like did that well. I thought that was awesome in the game. He's like, bam! <laughs> he like ate that shit and then died. Yeah, as I said, that should become a movie. That's a little more interesting than some. What's the new Star Wars uh, TV show? Endor or something? Yeah. yeah. What, I mean, no one knows who they were at the time, so I didn't do when they made the movie, but like, why couldn't they do like a star killer thing and build up and do something interesting? I don't know. I feel Wars. like Star Wars is trying to avoid it because they know if they do it wrong, they're fucked. Yeah. yeah but but, need to and it's Disney, not completely but they need to canon. Di- but that, they need to get, past, get, get away from Disney. Yeah. I mean, because like the star killer thing is just straight violence, though. Yeah. Like, how he fucking, like, if you remember the finishers from the fucking game, where you'd be at the end and then, like, it'd be a series of button taps, but you'd be fucking slaughtering them, basically, to the point after you've already melted their health bar, that it just, like, becomes a brutal-ass fucking kill. Mm-hmm. Like, I forget which one was, like, the worst out of all of it. I think it was, uh... Fuck. What's the third one? Uh... The one where he's on, like, Rax's fucking prime. Yeah. And you're at the end, and you find the dude with the fucking orange blades. Yeah. Kazdan Paradis, that's what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, how he fucking murdered him, that was badass. But it was, like, fucked up how he killed him. He, like, made him, like, fucking go through, like, several piles of junk, just blasting him through it. If Star Wars never went to Disney, what what, what would you think Star Wars would have been if it wasn't for Disney taking over the last three Star Wars movies? I feel like this would have definitely already been in play though yeah. if it was still Lucas Stones running it there's the only way to like keep it going would be to do that like that's a whole series in itself and a trilogy in itself yeah. right there yeah start, in all the movies they mix in spots in between of every movie there's just there's a time, I mean and it would space. give fans what they want every single movie like the first one was Star Killer versus Darth Vader, and then after he beats the shit out of Darth Vader, he's facing the fucking Emperor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then fucking nearly kills him. Yeah. Like, no, I love playing him in the game. That was yeah. freaking great. <clears throat> he was supposed to be Darth Vader's apprentice or something, right? Yeah. yeah. And then he turned Jedi. He can and tame the beasts and stuff, and he do all that stuff. He was the one that killed most of the. The the lot yep. of the yeah he freaking Jedi's. that game Use just it. had sick combos too yeah there was like I for, remember one it was like Sith slam or whatever and like it'd be like you'd slash him twice with your lightsaber and then hit triangle and you'd like it lift him into the air after you just slashed him and then slam his face into the fucking ground yeah mm-hmm. I was like <laughs> damn yeah. that's fucking brutal bro it's like the Mortal Kombat of Star Wars. Yeah. But this dude just fucking whoops everybody's ass. It doesn't matter how many of them there are. No. He took down a whole Star Destroyer. So. Yeah, that fucking shit was insane. He said, boom. Yeah, and he's only had it. Done. Did it. <laughs> Pulled the whole fucking Star Destroyer from the fucking sky and just made it crash and blow up. Yeah. Fucking psycho. <laughs> well, he, I think how he created, that's what they said. He was... Well, the storyline was that he was created in the Force, so he was already born. He didn't need to know the Force. He just needed to wake up, and there it is. Bro, you were born out of a pot of soup. Uh, (laughs) You're just a spell. (laughs) Right. Just pure definition of fucking rage to scream when he'd fucking throw something. That dude was like the ultimate fucking set. This could be like Harry Potter when he made the kid fall into that tank, except he'll just do it to do it. Right, he's like, <laughs> Everybody says, hmm, look at everybody on the cage. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucked. Especially if it's a tiger or a lion cage. Just a, ha! It Dog just slaughtered a whole fucking army. Yeah. Like, how powerful can you fucking be? To just kill like an army of stormtroopers in one go by yourself. Yeah. Pretty fucking powerful. Yeah. I'll just end this one this shit. <laughs> yeah. He said, 
All right. <laughs> yeah. Because you know the, the story of Ren. Not, 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 not the, the new one. The, the one that was a, was a Jedi. And he went into a Sith and he went back to a Jedi. He's, just, he's like Star Killer, but like he was, was before the old, the old Republic. You guys, anyone know about? I haven't played too much Old Republic. I got a little into it. Yes, I think that was after Darth Vader and all that, right? Well, it was before Darth Vader and everything. This is back in way before them. This was before the Republic even existed. Yeah. And that's, uh, they were supposed to make a TV series out of it. That was the rumors of them making that. That, that, that's when most to... of it is like so you could pick the role of a Jedi, a Sith, a bounty hunter, a smuggler. I'll be a smuggler this time. I'll just see where I go. Like <laughs> it's all roles, but they all tie into teams. It's almost like a World of Warcraft sort of thing. Yeah. But with Jedi and Sith and like yeah, bounty hunters. I think only had that was like Xbox at the time was that that uh. Or Republic, because I, mm. I don't see it. They have an online PC version uh, you can yeah, play uh, now that's like World of Warcraft. It's yeah. kind of cool, actually. Yeah. So, Tony. Anything to talk about? <laughs> Any good uh, porn you watch lately? Or mm? <laughs> Any good porn or movies or deep <laughs> cinema films? <laughs> I don't think there is. <laughs> 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 Just take it by it? That's the only the re recent one. We was that old at home one, but that was on Netflix. But basically, like, the she's the sister of the Sherlock Holmes. And the guy, um, Sherlock Holmes, he's the played Superman. He's in there. Um, you know, you watch Stranger Things? Yeah. No, she's plays in there. So. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. That's funny, though. It's cool. Mm -hmm. But. Tony, what, who do you think would win in a fight, Sherlock Holmes or Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man? It's like, oh. <laughs> he's shot. I remember Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes yeah, can see too. it before it happens. He's yeah. sad. He's a ah, <laughs> He's, he's a already major see your fate. Uh, he He's gonna spot. start fucking punching him. <laughs> bink, bink. <laughs> so no, it's the go, same dude. No, I go for him. Yeah, for he said, time. "I knew it. The only person that could be fighting me is me." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Robert Downey Jr. in the Iron Man suit, yeah. seeing himself. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Well, actually, I didn't think of that. <laughs> both play the same. He plays the same both. Character. Yeah, that's what I said. He could see your moves before it's about to happen. He's gonna see what happens before he even enters the room. He said, <laughs> "I already did that movie before I did this movie." <laughs> <laughs> right. One day gonna do Rocky and um versus him then Sherlock Holmes. Oh, Rocky versus Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I still go for Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, the only only shot only one that. He's gonna be like, Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> Stick him in his shit. <laughs> He'd be like, that's not my name, but alright. <laughs> yeah, because Sherlock Holmes, oh, he has a lot of other background than this. I don't does. know, Rocky well, might train Rambo, super yeah, hard Rocky for like three months down. and then get back. <laughs> beat the hell yeah, man, well, He's gonna be like, yeah, world championship match against <laughs> uh, fucking Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, Sherlock no, he'd be like, bloody as hell going, and then he comes. <laughs> I would actually think that would be a badass movie. It's mm -hmm. like Sherlock Holmes and fucking Rocky. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes beats the shit out of Rocky, and then Rocky trains to beat the fuck out of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes oh, yeah, versus get a victory through a tie, technically. Yeah. yeah. Sherlock versus Batman. Sherlock versus uh, Rocky Part Two. Yeah. I see a sequel. <laughs> Said well, what about Sherlock Holmes versus Batman? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock. Yeah. Depends with Bat. No Christian Bale. No, because Batman is, our, our, is our, uh, does the crime too, and Sherlock Holmes is but they both are smart in the head of yeah. finding their guys. Who did they get there before the others? Batman. <laughs> His equipment. He has protection. He has way more equipment. Yeah, it's Batman. Yeah. But still. 
If he knows it's If coming. it's Batman versus Sherlock Holmes in a fight, I don't know. Because Sherlock Holmes has his little buddy, too. And what does Batman Little buddy? His little buddy. <laughs> Batman, Batman has fucking Robin and Nightwing and fucking Red Hood. They're all going to come in like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter, because that's before Robin got any better. <laughs> Robin's going to whoop the fuck out of him. Sherlock Holmes didn't take it, too. They hate, they hate it. He did it. He took the, the Ronnie Jr. off his feet. Okay, but if we're talking about Damian Wayne Robin, yeah, the fucking Sherlock Holmes, his partner, doesn't have a fucking chance in hell. <laughs> okay, he's been training with Sherlock Holmes. He's just an orphan kid. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no! Nah! <laughs> he's gonna do a fucking sword attack and slice his ass up. <laughs> the only people Batman needs to win. But Holmes only needs Batman Batman. can fight both of them and still probably win by himself. Yeah, if he had to outsmart him. If they ever never she met. He takes out groups. <laughs> like, he dog, he'll literally fight like two villains at once at the same time. Like he's fought Joker and Harley at the same time. How many times though? <laughs> Man, but they don't finish it. When he didn't finish the job, they keep coming back. He doesn't fucking kill him, that's why. Get, yeah, Joker's like... <laughs> Invincible, pretty much, except for a certain person that got funny. Out. He's that crackhead at Seven Eleven. <laughs> uh, crackhead at Seven Eleven, you got some change, brother. <laughs> he said, "But I'm gonna actually a psychopath with a knife here, in a purple fucking suit, and, and bombs attached." I'm give me that black and white. Let's see a magic trick that runs out of the store. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I want Batman versus Nightwing. Batman versus Nightwing. Get that. Time to He said, let me hit you with a stick. Bam. <laughs> He's like, really, kid? Batarangs. <laughs> so, what do you got? 1200 there, volts each. <laughs> Oh they have actual tasers taped to them. That's <laughs> just like... No, he has... <laughs> what? Oh. Well, I'm going to continue from last time. So these are the 13 disgusting questions from Who Is Your Rather. Oh, oh, boy. So the first one... Come on right after bat right away, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather drink a pint of your worst enemy's pee while they... Look in you in the eye, or eat a bowl of your own poop while everyone <laughs> you ever dated watches. Now to the Jabal window. <laughs> I choose C. Die. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with A because, a. like, honestly, at least I can chug the pee. Yeah. yeah they got eighty yeah, eighty percent for the first, twelve percent for the. Okay, I was saying, don't that twelve percent. You got me fucked that's up. That twelve percent, you guys are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Finishes. And we'll watch Glenn. He said, I don't mind eating shit. It's just like eating ass, right? <laughs> I don't have a gag like that. Big difference. <laughs> Not if they have poop flakes. <laughs> uh, second one, every time you poop, sh shards of glass come out and make you bleed down there. Or every time you pee, you have to wipe with the shards of glass. Oh, 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 the first one. I'm gonna have to shit shards of glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fair. Yeah, clean it with glass. Well, yeah, they get. That's thirty percent for that. It wipe it with, wipe with it, the glass is sixty-two. What? Oh, oh my! Ew, unless it's <laughs> unless, unless, it's, unless it's like fiberglass, and then but still, well, you're still, still gonna get a real glass. Yeah, so your butt itches after it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cut, but you still gotta you can deal with it because. <laughs> you get the other spot, it's like, I don't know what these people do with uh, that. Why put your things and you're just Why put your glasses and just start from everything down <laughs> below? Would you rather have a, a vagina on your forehead or have penis going up and down your back like a <laughs> Sinosaurus? <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> oh, it's a vagina. It's a... <laughs> 31% for the vagina one, 99, uh, uh, 69% for the uh, Who won dinosaur that? penis one. Huh? Who won that? The dinosaur? Uh, hell yeah. The dinosaur so, penis. Dinosaur penis. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? He said like a tyrannosaurus. <laughs> 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 
Dog, the pubes That's gotta suck like, when you get an erection. It's just gonna come out of your t-shirt slowly, like. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna <laughs> grow. Well, well, I think you're right, Rico. It's gonna be his shoulder angel, like sm like Big Mouth. <laughs> and it's gonna be real life Big Mouth. <laughs> Fourth one: Would you rather get a huge paper cut over eyelid over your eyelid, or s swallow five nails? Eyelid. Eyelid. Fuck it. Let me swallow these five fucking nine inch screws. Swallow the needle. Seventy three percent for swallow the needle. Paper cut twenty. What the fuck? What? 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 They like their pain. I'm talking. No, I'd rather have the They're, they're faking. I mean, I guarantee if you. Make There's someone needle. getting out there getting turned on to us right now. They're like swallow needles. Yeah. That's like when throw comes out. What do they think about when they do these questions? Like. What they if don't. the needles get stuck? That's my question. What if people, well, are, they, are these people actually going to do it? We should test that theory. If they no. actually going to do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Let's definitely uh, not test that theory. Because I don't suggest anybody ever no. swallow a fucking needle. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like we want to do. And I'll choose yes, oh, yes. He said we're going to love this one. Would you rather eat an entire pie that someone spit in or eat a powdered sugar mixed with Dandruff shavings. Uh, I'll take the spit, thanks. 92% dandruff sugar. Uh, what? Uh, uh, for the spit pie. Crusty ass fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh See, oh. what, what do people think? Uh, they, 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 they said it's snowing. Okay. <laughs> what if it was a, wait, there's no seasoning. Gotcha. He said salt. <laughs> that's, no. that's how they salt the fries. Oh, yeah, I don't want to uh, would, you, uh, would you rather have to dive in, into a pool of snot? Once a day, or always have to shower in your own pee. Mm. Shower in your own pee? It's not, because I have to shower after. Where's your, uh, yeah, Once fifty-seven percent for a snot pool, or forty-three percent for the pee shower. Well, oh, uh, I was like, hey, no pee shower. No, no. Seven. Would you rather oh, so pee dry dark, sand dark for the rest of your life, <laughs> or pull a big hard brick every year on your birthday? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh, first one. Wait, what is this brick made on? Is my question. Brick. Mm -hmm. brick. Seventy six percent poo a hard brick. Damn. Twenty four percent piss dry sand. I'm tired. Oh, dry what? sand. Dry sand. Or shit out. a hard brick. Either way, you're that either rough. way, your pee holes. I'll gonna take be the messed. brick, man. Dog, you know well, how your butt stretch. Can stretch like you're gonna that, have right? the oh. You're gonna have the biggest prolapse in the world. You're gonna have bigger to... than some other people. <laughs> <laughs> the eight hole um, tubes. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather look like an elephant trunk? <laughs> <laughs> would you rather drink a full glass of expired chunky milk or eat an entire bowl of moldy strawberries? You know, I've actually drank chunky milk before by accident because uh -huh. I was in a rush in the morning, so yeah. I'm gonna go with chunky milk. I just yeah. had to shit really bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All day. 73% yeah. for the stra moldy strawberries, 27% for the chunky oh. milk. Moldy strawberries, you're gonna be like puking and like. You're puking. Actually, man. sick, sick. Yeah, yeah that's fuzzy. If I shit, <laughs> after I shit off of some na nasty milk, I'm good. I don't like fuzzy stuff, so no. 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 Number nine. Would you rather wake up and find all your teeth have been replaced with pubic hairs? That's <laughs> or have your pubic hairs replaced with mi millions of teeth? Millions of teeth. teeth. I have a defense system. Now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, remember that movie Teeth? Back off. <laughs> Sixty-four percent teeth for pubic hair. That's it. Thirty-six yeah. percent pubic hair for your teeth. Whoa. What the fuck? Actually, Why? How are you gonna chew? You know. Is it like? You're gonna have hairballs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number 10, would you rather drink a glass of cat pee before a first date? Why? Or eat a sandwich made it, made of boogers right before your wedding? Man, either way, you're rough. Your girlfriend or wife is gone. Uh, 61% uh, for cat pee. 39% for boogers. No, because your breath is gonna stink like that shit <laughs> forever, bro. Yeah, well, what do you know about boogers, though? What do you want to eat, boogers? Yeah, but you know, if like, it's my own, I guess. I didn't say which what bird it is. As long as it's not just a bunch of collection of random people like <laughs> in a sandwich. It's going to be that, man. <laughs> Number eleven. Would you uh, rather eat ten uh, pounds of poop that tastes like chocolate, or eat oh. twenty pounds of chocolate that tastes like poop? The first one. The first one. Sixty-six percent that tastes like no, chocolate. No, I'd rather eat the one that is actually chocolate. But it tastes like poop. But it tastes like shit. 
<laughs> but it's chocolate still. But, Hang on, we're gonna be uh we're gonna pick this back up in segment two. Thanks for everybody who listened. Guys, we're back with segment two. Now just to finish up these uh last two questions here. <clears throat> Would you rather watch your parents have sex once a day for the rest of your life or join in once to to make it stop? What? Uh, either way, it's... what the fuck? Make it stop. God. Make it stop. <laughs> no. No, I don't think one of them. Sixty-four percent wants to date him, whatever, and then thirty-six percent join one. What the fuck? It's more than half, right? Thirty-six. Don't like join in once. These are just questions. Well, what if they did this was actually a real life thing? Which one did you choose? What would you choose? I'm not choosing. Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Well, I smiled twice on whooping my dad's ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy! Yeah, and finally, <laughs> and finally, would you rather put a toothpick under your toenails? Oh, kick the wall, that's the hardest. Jump in. Oh, that's the one. Jump into the pool of a lemon juice while your body is covered in paper cuts. Oh! <sighs> what was the first one? Kick a wall with a toothpick under your nails. I did that already. But yeah, just a different one. With the I. One. So I'd rather do that. Seventy-eight percent for the one more. Yeah, I do the one Yeah, I would too, but like, <sighs> it'll gonna hurt, but like it'll go away after a while. Now you got this fucking hole in your nail, your foot now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough day. <laughs> a rough day. I already did that. Right. Burning, but... <gasps> oh, yes. that, that go away. Oh, hell you up. jump in a whole pool and your body's just stinging. <sighs> It'll sting, but it'll still go away if you wash it out. You got nail Once you get out of the pool after your agony of screaming, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather have to kick a nail in? Huh? No, I don't know. And then stuck in your nail, I mean, you do pull out, you're going to have a bunch of gushing blood. Hand sanitizer. Would you jump in with hand sanitizer? Like, mine's mine. No. Nope, I've tested that one. <laughs> no, no, it hurts. It burns. No. You ever dump ever clear on a wound? That shit hurt. Yeah, that's horrible. Really bad. You just sit there and scream because of the 180 proof of liquor hitting your cut. <laughs> That's 90% alcohol, boy. No. It's not okay. I have a question for everybody. What's your favorite drink of choice? Water. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, it? It have, sorry, it would have to be, um, it would have to be probably like, um, probably Tito's with a, Soda water mixed. Is it soda? Yeah. Yeah, it's like club soda. I know. Let's give it up. I actually don't mind club soda in some of that shit. It's kind of just sweet in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, when we're done, you can dive water and it when it runs out. If you balance it right, you're going to get fucked up pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I've downed a cup before straight up and it was pretty much rice. Like, I was starting to feel it. Like, so, Tony, what's your. What, what's your answer? What's your choice, a drink of choice. I like vodka one, but I also like the margaritas. Austin? Austin? I don't know, it's a tie between Hennessy and uh, Tequila. But Patron. You go. Patron with Patron. <laughs> Patron, not Patron. Mine is between vodka or is the, 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 the Jose Cuervo. Copy. I like that one. Copy. I like it. <laughs> Me, I like, any, I like any whiskey, bourbon, scotch. Black label. I haven't tried that one. Uh, I tried every kind of whiskey that I can try. I like all of them. There's just some are stronger than others, but I just take my time. You should see my camera. Yeah, and then left left this whiskey, and no one drinks it up for me. Hell yeah, man! Man, never mind. I take my things back. I take it between Rumplemans or tequila. Okay, I got another one. What's gonna be Rumplemans? Okay, here's one. What is 
the the drink of choice that will mess you up. One that messed you up the most. On not on purpose. <laughs> is that that skull vodka? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that was nasty. Yeah, that shit was nasty. Because well, peroxide. I think close to clear when we turned into the dark liquor. Oh yeah. I won't drink that again. Tommy. <laughs> no. I'm a bourbon when I tried that. No, it was like hundred percent no. But the Texas one, mm-hmm. that one shit. Yeah, of course you will. You gotta get that. Get off of that. If you don't, then then it's not. That wasn't hundred proof. Oh, you. Everclear. <laughs> Everclear is my nightmare. Oh. Okay, I don't want to be here for your birthday. No. <laughs> I don't want to relive that again. I woke up in somebody's yard. I didn't know where I was. <laughs> oh, I didn't have a bad choice of anything. I lost my t-shirt and my hoodie that night. Oh, I was just I laying there these. shirtless and then one <laughs> looking oh, suspect as hell. Oh, I remember that. I've done something like that. Yeah. I'll say I haven't really get, I don't have a chica to that messes me up. Because the only one that messes me up because the driver sucked at driving and hit every pump on the way. Those you never puked in my car, though. So no, I could never, never did. No, no, it wasn't you. It was. <laughs> it was some other people. It was some other people that I walked, rolled with, it, and it hit every bump on the way there. But when I got there, I was like, I sat down, grabbed my leg out, he got out of the way. I, so we had left Russian time. I, bleh, all over the sidewalk. And those are ever three. Because I seen it coming. I, I saw think the honestly, face, so all of us have had down. like decent nights out where we've never puked. No, because we know our handle. <laughs> handle and we don't have a bad Never driver a that hits every bump. We take it easy and we get The only way it. I probably will get close to is when I start reaching the the, uh, the limit. Although it depends on the drink, I think. But yeah. like if it gets my limit, which is 35 shots, um, I can, if I get start hitting that, then I'm Mine's not going to know Mine's if I will or not. Because I usually end up doing it. Because the last time I hit 33 <laughs> shots once in a long time and... Yeah, yeah. I haven't beat their limit yet. Mine's is 14. Maybe it's dangerous too, anyways. Mine's is 14 with whiskey. (laughs) I think my (coughs) limit is four shots. I think it's like close to (coughs) 9 or 10. It's, yeah. That (coughs) I freaking did, what was it? What was it? 15, yeah, 15 shots. Oh, no, maybe it was 30. Sorry, not 35. Sorry. It was, I think it was 15 shots mixed. Because it was like, we had, like we had the three, 15 straight out. Because that day we had three mixed drinks. We had, they, you had a, a buzz ball. You had a, uh, yeah. you had, the, so you had some other ones with you. And you mixed them all together. And then, it, and then we went to McDonald's. And it was yeah. a good idea. Yeah. They hit him and it was, it was easy to push him over into the fence. Yeah. All the time you have a chance to beat your brother. Is when he's drunk and he can't move. Yeah, that was one of those days. And then he got me the next day. Yeah, I remembered. I remembered him pushing me. I was like, just remember, I'm gonna get you when I get up. I woke up, pushed him off the couch. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, I told you I'd remember. He was hoping I'd forget. At least I don't puke my drinks so. out. You did though. At once with that buck. You haven't reached the limit I did either, so you don't know that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you don't want to challenge me with that. Then I'm gonna overdo it again. I always do that. But I'm not. I I don't, <coughs> how do you know? I drank a lot. And I, did, I, know, I took four, took like six, seven shots of big glass and chugged them down. Me and Lee, me and me and my sister challenged each other to a drink off, and so. she drank seven, but I finished mine. I chugged my last two. What size were the cups, though? So it was up all the way there? Mm-hmm. Seven times. Six, seven times. <coughs> Shots are still stronger, though. Yes. Okay. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> so. I got some free noggins. What about, you know, we tried to talk about this earlier, but, well, the old Han Solo versus the old Captain Kirk. Oh. Something like Star Street. Oh, that one? 
I lost it. I lost a lot of Star Trek. Han Solo. Yeah. All the winter haunts. I can't. I can't go against my childhood hero. No, I, did a lot, I watched all of them just to see what it was about. Like, just they're just both the same as Star Wars. And either way, I'm not getting in that debate. That's fine. That's, the, that's what it was debate. What about this? One, the BB-8 versus R2D2. Gotta go with the original order. R2D2. R two D two is gonna fly over his ass and melt him. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's all that ever did it in Star Wars. C three P was useless. Dog took care of his own enemies. He's like, fuck this. Yeah, he took out two soldiers. What did C three P ever do? C three P was can communicate. Yeah, communicate. So he did for his talking. His mom's intelligent yeah. too. He spoke millions of languages. Man. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Clint Eastwood versus Tommy Lee Jones. Clint East. Clint Eastwood. Wait, if we're talking men in black, though. Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Because he had the other guns. If it wasn't. Oh, with that, Winter, they, they, they kind of choose this. They, uh, they're both dead, uh, are already dead with, so. Yeah. Yes. yeah oh, finally, first one. Transformer versus the Fast and Furious. <laughs> That's like, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, no. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going Transformers. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> come on, family. It's family. It's family. Boom. I'm watching. Watch, unfortunately, I have to. It'll be Fast and Furious wins. So I might as well. You make them fly one. up in like a space type shit. No, no, don't do it, Rico. If, if They're just going to create a way to fucking fight Optimus Prime. I just, yeah. just want to see. This could be Vin Diesel. I just want to see that. That, makes or that board makes. with. Uh, see, <laughs> come on, family. A flying mammoth tank or something. Yeah, you, you just see, you just see. Can you imagine that a mammoth tank fucking flying at you? That's that's thing. That's a big boy coming at you. Have you ever seen a picture of a mammoth tank? They're, yeah. they're big. Yeah, two, two barrels. Yeah, but the transformers can transform into anything. Yeah, but uh, the, that's why yeah, I just see it. Cars and vehicles. So what if they transform into a mammoth tank? Yeah, and I like to see it. Can we do it? Oh, that's what you should have said. Power Rangers. Versus Transformers. Like, no. Power Rangers. No, no. Yeah, he said the Megazord versus fucking Optimus Prime. Yeah, yeah no, come on. No, Power Rangers ain't got nothing. They keep getting yeah, sure. hurt. They yeah. keep coming out with new stuff. Power Rangers just need to pop that ecstasy and get to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say get stuff. <laughs> they they make Power Rangers out of to take out one Transformer. They're going to hear Project, Project X <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Captain America versus Batman. Who would win? <laughs> Captain, Captain America, because he's super. Soldier. I don't even know why they did. A super, he's a super soldier. Well, um, I thought you said he's a stupid soldier. <laughs> I mean, I said he's super slow. I said no. No. That's my idol you're talking about. <laughs> Is it like sixty percent for Batman, forty three percent for Captain? Oh, I wear his red white. Just because he beat. Just because he beats um, Superman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but he, be, he ain't gonna be Captain America. Wonder Woman versus Deadpool. Wonder Woman. Say what? I'm sorry. Wonder Woman. Oh, no. She can restrain Wonder Woman versus Deadpool. What about Deadpool? What was that one with the sword? Because Deathstroke. Deathstroke versus Deadpool. Oh, yeah. Because they both had the swords, so. Deadpool. That'd be one hell of a fight. Yeah, it'll be a for real. I don't know. He's, my favorite he's, superhero. he's gonna fucking kick him in the face and he's gonna do the same shit back. <laughs> Literally the same fucking move. He said, sword, bang, bang. They're both gonna shoot each other. <laughs> Bullets just colliding. <laughs> like, man. You know, it's gonna be a, a standoff until who has to last the longest? Who has the most stamina? I don't know. They that strokes. Do. That strokes been through some shit. Yeah, so <laughs> Deadpool. He's but dealing, that, he's been blown up and recovered. And so he got. He got, yeah. he got <laughs> remember, he was like this. I don't baby know. That's the, that strokes fought Superman though. No, yeah, and, oh, yeah. and Deadpool faced Juggernaut. And ripped him in half. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's strong as a bitch. And no one can stop him unless you talk to the blue <laughs> and he's at him. I don't like, know. Deathstroke has a lot in his arsenal, though. Yeah, he got, he got top five. He was he was wasn't he like a Batman's uh a pupil too, but he turned evil. Batman turned evil. 
No, I'm um, fine. <laughs> That'd be badass. Yeah. Yeah. He just starts beating the shit out of the citizen. There's a different version of it. He that. goes to the cop station and they're like, hey, Batman. Bam! <laughs> well, people are saying technically he's an anti villain, really. Yeah, he is. He ain't real pure hero, really. Because of the shit he does, you know, it's technically more anti villain yeah. than anything. That's how I feel about it. He said, Superman, you want your ass beat? <laughs> Oh, what if I'd be cool with Thor versus Superman? They, they do that a lot of times. But they oh, all, I see they, Captain Marvel versus Superman. Of course, she'd be Captain Marvel. No. Yeah. Captain Marvel's gonna have to whoop his ass. <laughs> yeah. It's, that's that one girl, right? It's unless we're trying to call it, unless we're talking about Dark Superman here, then no. then it might be over. Yeah, then I don't know. Nah, if you want to pick at the classes, you gotta hit the Smallville Superman. That motherfucker cuts comes right through uh, face Kane. that green shit. He face Kane. <laughs> when he get yeah yeah <laughs> tonight. He said, well, Fuck no, that he, he, tonight. Well, no, he comes through everything. Like when he gets pissed off, he, he fucking <laughs> charges right through. She becomes invincible. Don't Reality. Good. It's only a TV a, show, oh, but it's actually. It's it's actually only really good strong. about the, the TV show is that they show all the crystals that what happens to them. Such as any other crystal. Yeah, it's crystal. Different. different it's crystal. I think it's black crystal it turns into evil. Yeah. Pink turns them. I don't know what. I think it was he falls in love with somebody. Yeah, extra yep. shocker. <laughs> and he said that over. The green <laughs> makes them weak. I think the thing is a red one. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> Sitting in her car waiting for her to go work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh no, that kind of love. <laughs> that guy. No. I think. Uh, <laughs> what's up? What did you get? Oh. <laughs> hey, cuz. Um, okay. She poops us off. You don't want to say nothing to your fans, do you? Yeah. Oh, you're really there you go. You guys say something. Say hi. I'm good. Say hi. They understand. They understand. They understand. We already know how yeah. the uh, aggressiveness with the yeah. TikTok page is going. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> hi, Dia. What? That's what, she, that's what he said. He called you Dia. I did not fucking call her Dia. <laughs> yes, you did. That's what you heard. I was going to say, I never heard no Dia. Yeah, yeah I'm so Dia. down when I stood in your Dia. I heard Dia. Who the fuck did you hear Dia? Uh, Are you trying to learn me Spanish? It's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. Right. Look who's bringing money to the table it's now. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Battle War. Battle Royal. The Scorpion King versus Luke Hobbs versus Dr. Bravestone versus The Rock with four fighters. The Rock. Basically fighting yeah, it was four characters that he's played that were basically Battle Royal fighting each other who will win in a fight. <laughs> Shit, wait, what was it? Uh, Scorpion King, the Luke Hobbs versus Dr. Bravestone versus The, uh, the Rock. Versus Black Adam. Versus Black Adam. <laughs> that, that, that's Scorpion that's King. King. Okay. Yeah, Scorp- Scorpion King. Yeah, yeah, he has powers. Then the other one. He just becomes immortal. Oh, yeah. If you pay us Hercules, then it would be Until freaking Brendan Art um, O'Connell kills him. Otherwise, he'd turn invincible into a scorpion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah scorpion came for sure. Yeah. Oh, he's just gonna roll up. Hobbs is gonna roll up and as a homer. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, it sure says. He's gonna Hops. blow him up and he's gonna come out of the fucking rubble like he did in the Sandstorm episode. Is I don't know. You got? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Luke Hobbs is pretty tough. I might go with Luke Hobbs. Uh, let's put this together. We can't say Black Adam, so that yes, would just not be fair. Yeah, but they're still. he's gonna kill them all. <laughs> yeah, well, like, like, they're all mortal. Well, compared well, to what him. he's supposed to be doing is put them all against his best one. Best of roles is uh, from. <laughs> oh, he said from faster Hobbs versus Scorpion King versus Walking Tall Hercules and then the, and then Diana. That's all. that makes it easier, but it's still like a special. Yeah, Black Adam versus Hercules. 
Well, yeah, you know that Black Adam versus Hercules? Bam! <laughs> that's, that's, that's the one you should go with, because those are the best goals he had. Not up for a superhero. Walkie well, Talkie just said Sheriff. But it's so in Hobbs, he was just a special officer. Yeah, but he... That's why I thought it would make sense that Walkie Tall versus... Walkie Tall versus, uh... Hobbs. <laughs> No. Hobbs <laughs> Hobbs is gonna win every <laughs> single one and just can't die. No, oh yeah, true. Yeah. Except for almost five Indy though. Yeah, he got lucky. He had to have the anger take over. The Diesel's a beast though, they said. I know. Uh, Hot Girl Summer is officially a What? Come on! Hot Girl Summer! John Wick versus Rambo. They seem to sell but different characters. Obviously. Mm-hmm. I just seen John Wick like trailer for J. Yeah. 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 I'm ready for that one. It looks good. At least they didn't do John Wick versus I'm selling another so with him in it. Oh, Matrix, because Matrix will win. John Wick versus. John Wick. <laughs> 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 That's the only true worthy appointment. <laughs> appointment. Appointment. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. They made an appointment for a shootout. <laughs> Here, He's meet me at this in, time, books. Booked in at the Hilton Hotel for February 23rd. Here we go. 8 p.m. Be there. He, he said. He yeah, said right clear. before midnight strikes. That's who gets shot. Is everybody gets a little new life. Dog, it's everybody okay. in the surrounding area is gonna die. They're not gonna die. They're gonna try to kill everybody else <laughs> by accident, trying to kill each other. <laughs> Imagine them both yelling at each other, you killed my dog. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah, but Matrix is like, <laughs> does all that. He has powers. No. And with the new one, he had a different gift, though. So I don't know how to see death in Matrix. With John Wick can just fight anything though. He just well, they nothing did, can stop him. Well, they did say he might. There's probably a, just a thought, but they're thinking, what if he? <laughs> well, great. That broke the roll. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Well, now that we've had enough phone interruptions. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't trust that room. Well, is she going to make a big face on us now? She said zoom in. Zoom in. Let's make it the camera. Here we go. There.